Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I'm coming to you with an energy forecast. I'm going to be talking about the energies that we've just experienced in February of 2020. I'm going to be talking about the new moon that we've just had in Pisces. And I'm going to be talking about what we're heading into. So what can we expect in March and what can we expect by the next full moon? So I know that a few of you have messaged me asking me to do this energy forecast earlier and unfortunately I could only get to it now. But I know I've also been aching to do an energy forecast because the energies were so robust and really all over the place in the last few weeks. And I talked a bit about this in the energy forecast that I did about two weeks ago. And um, you can catch some of this, this review uh, that I'm going to do now in that one and I'm just going to link it uh, to this video. So um, basically the last few weeks um, have been quite up and down and the reason for that is because you might have been experiencing some petty annoyances as well as um, needing to repair things as well as being misunderstood or just feeling lethargic or procrastinating or feeling like the amount of effort that you are required to put into something doesn't really yield the results that you've been hoping for. And if you were doing this at a different stage or at a different time of the year, you might find that it takes you much less time and energy to be able to complete the tasks that you would have set out to do. So that is the kind of energy that we've been coming from. And if you haven't been experiencing that, or if that hasn't really touched you, then just be happy and breathe a sigh of relief because it has been really touching a lot of people out there and it's been wreaking havoc so to say. And what can we expect? Well we're moving into an energy now which is very productive and far more productive than anything that would have been in the last two months and so you're going to be finding that um, you can do a lot with a lot of ease and it doesn't take much to be able to accomplish tasks and to be able to uh, gain the popularity that you desire along with uh, completing those tasks or with the effort that you put into whatever it is that you are trying to achieve during this time. So one of the things that I was really desperate to share with you is that this energy that we're experiencing right now is our new year. It's almost like the year begins now and now is when we can actually go ahead and do whatever it is that we need to do. And the last couple of months have almost been residual for the last year or energy also from 2018. So it's almost like we've been doing things that we needed to do already in 2017 or 2018, 2019. And it's now that you actually experience the start of the new decade and that whole new energy is, is really there to support you and push you forward and assist you along with all that you need to do. And this is not only to do with work or career matters, um, and in terms of productivity, whether it be with regard to hobbies or anything else. But it's also in terms of one's emotional well-being. And you're going to find that you're able to let go of things that have been um, occupying you and taking up space in you. You know, it's been kind of living off you in a way. And it's you're going to be able to release some of that and just be able to you know, remove some of these things, some of these kind of unwanted tenants in your in your mind. And you're going to find that you're going to be able to move forth quite easily. So if you have been in a period of stagnation, then now is when things will go uh, faster. If, it, if you've been in a period of stagnation for about seven years or um, for about um, four years or in the last, say, two to three years, in these time frames, right, um, you will be able to move ahead and you'll find that everything shifts. It's like a shift that occurs underneath us. It's like this carpet being pulled out from underneath us and we find ourselves in a much better state with a lot of abundance and a lot of good energy around us, which we can use to manifest what it is that we want to desire, what we what it is that we we want to create and that which we desire. So the other thing here is that this is such an amazing energy for manifestation and it's begun with the Pisces new moon that we had on Sunday, this last uh, Sunday. And it, the 
if you haven't been starting to manifest or visualize what it is that you desire, then take a moment and think about what it is that you want and feel it and, and experience it in your heart and in your body, you know, through your body. And you're going to find that it's going to manifest with a lot more ease than it's been able to in the last year or so. Right. So I'm just going to go ahead and read from my notes here. So you would have found that petty concerns and annoyances of the last week would be replaced by forward uh, movement and productive peri periods ahead. And it's feeling like a difference is being made. Things that bother you in the last weeks will be in the past and you will have a new handle on the situation and how to cope with things. So if you have been dif having difficulty with coping or just been feeling overwhelmed or feeling stressed out, then all of this is also going to dissipate now. It's almost like it hasn't been there. It's like these clouds that were dark and heavy, um, clouding your, your view and it's all just going to scatter away and it's going to be sunny, a sunny period now. So if you've been going through a period of things breaking and falling apart, needing repairs, it's also now come to an end and you'll be free of such hassles as you go ahead. You may find that a few things still crop up, but it's not a troublesome period. So you might, you may actually have one or two things that may break along the way, but it's not like going to be a whole period where everything's kind of falling apart. And, um, okay. So now I just want to talk about what we can expect, right? So it's a new beginning. It's almost like now is the time to celebrate your new year or you've celebrated your new year and now it is that you're beginning this year. And this energy is going to go on until about, I would say around end of March, April next year, like so 2021. But for the moment, what is it that we need to know? Well, the first thing is that the energies of last decade are there and you don't need to take it along in this decade. It's really not necessary for you to go ahead and 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 think about things and, and be plugged into the energy of the last decade or the last few years. So you don't really need to be thinking about last year's energy or last the last few years or the last decade. You don't really need to be feeling that anymore. And if you are still caught up with those kind of things, what's happened then? And if you've experienced it, um, if you've been the the victim of some kind of injustice and you're still feeling that pain and you're still feeling tormented by that, you're not going to be able to see and understand all the blessings that you have around you at the moment and how abundant the energy is and how you can actually create a lot and manifest a lot and how things start moving along right now. And even though it has its own momentum and it's moving around, if you're moving along, if you imagine yourself on a train and you're moving, the train is moving in one direction, but you're standing and you're looking out the the back of the train and looking at what you're coming from if you just focused on that you're not going to realize that you actually are moving and where you're headed to and you're not going to be able to see what's around you or what is coming up for you which is going to be really a fantastic energy to work with and and to advance as you go along in this decade in many ways we are planting the seeds for what we need for the next for this decade and for where we <laughs> Yeah, you can have a shot every time I say the word decade. But basically, the the space that we head it into is required. Um, we require a preparation. We require a build up. And so this energy right now, what we're going to be experiencing for the next few years, is actually helping us to consolidate what we'll be needing later on in, say, 2025 or 2028, 29. And so the lessons that we experience, we learn right now, the experiences that we have, is going to help us mature and and actually ready ourselves for what is to come. And so it's really, really important for us to let go of what's happened in the last decade. And I understand that for some of you, the last decade might be may have been devastating, and there are lots of um, untied. Um, ends or loose ends that need to be tied up but you don't need to be um, solely focused on that you can actually allow yourself to move on from that and allow yourself to move away from that energy so that you can embrace this whole new energy okay the other thing that's going to come up during this time is that you're going to find that love comes back into your life so in the last few weeks or months if you've been feeling a soul connection very strongly if you've been if you have somebody like a you know in your life who you're in love with or um you've been or you're somebody that you've You've, you're not no longer with but you still feel their energy quite strongly you would have felt that the last two months has really 
brought uh, a different energy of theirs to the fore. And you might find that as we go ahead uh, in the next months, that this love energy comes to blossom and, and bud. Now, this is not going to be the case for every single one of you. And if there's something that's in the past, it might be that it's gone forever and that it's time to actually move on. And you need to feel and go inside of you and understand what is it that you actually need to do and what kind of relationship you're dealing with. And you need to separate what you want from what it is. So try to do that um, in a meditation where you can actually just you know, close your eyes and, and feel and ask to be shown what is the truth in this relationship and trust that and go with that. And if it means that you, it's time to let go of that past and let, and that, yes, you've been feeling the energy, but it's not really what, what, it, nothing's really going to come off it, then perhaps it's time to let go of that. And if some of you are, are hanging on to that as a kind of filler, because there's nobody else or because it gives you some kind of hope or because it's a comforting thought to have, then this is going to be to your detriment. And you're going to see that as this year goes on, it really will work against you. So I encourage you to actually let go of, of connections, even if they are strong connections that you have with somebody, let go of the hope that you have that you can actually be with each other, because that is going to be to your detriment. On the other hand, if you have uh, somebody in your life where you have a strong soul connection and your intuition and your gut as also tells you that this is something that's going to come to fruition then it's time to ready yourself for this kind of um, relationship and the way to do that is to work within you and to work with with yourself and be the person that you want to be when you are in that relationship with this with the person that you desire so i'm just going to go ahead and read from my notes again here just in case i've missed out anything love love and feeling aroused dreaming of your soul connection uh being very aware of their presence um would have been the energy that you would have experienced in the last few weeks but nothing really has changed so far so now the wheels start turning and it's this forward movement and it's kind of building up of momentum in the next months. And for many of you, the end of June, July and August will prove to be an informative time in regards to this, uh, to the growth in, in these kind of relationships. My, the advice here is to be observant and to allow the other person to really, uh, to reveal themselves to you. Yeah, the, the advice is not to rush out there and to be, and to gush all over there. Uh, or to or to be too hasty, or to be too eager, or to be too impatient. The advice is simply to chill out and just allow them to come to you. Allow them to uh, allow the the interaction to develop uh, organically, and not because you are pushing it along, and not because you are you know the one with the puppet strings. Um, designing how it will unfold and the, this is really important so if you are one of those people who are prone to in this particular connection prone to doing that then then just um, you know stop yourself in this situation because if you don't you're going to find that nothing comes to fruition okay and nothing actually works out the way that you want it to. So simply just st step back, observe the situation and allow it to unfold. This is so important for the next few months. One of the other things that I wanted to talk about here is that the theme of boundaries will come to, to bear itself once again or to rear its ugly head <laughs> in, in some kind of way. And, you know, the, being good to oneself or looking after oneself um, while making head headway in work and in hobbies, etc. But also self-care is a really important theme as we go along in March and April and, and even May, but less so then, but especially in March. So where is it that we are not able to take care of ourselves? And where is it that we are afraid to take care of ourselves? Where is it that we do not give ourselves permission to be cared for by others as well? So these are all the themes that are coming forth in, in the next month. And this is something that we need to be aware of. Um, you may have visited these themes in February of 2019, June or July of 2019. And now again, so now is the time to deal with this once and for all. And if it doesn't, then what you're going to find is that, I'm not saying these things to scare you, but what, what, what you're going to find is that you feel quite disempowered. 
thereafter if you haven't faced these things head on. So if you are dealing with people, most likely it is boundaries with regard to people as opposed to kind of institutions, etc. Um, you need to be firm and you need to be clear and honest. And if you're just honest with these people, you're going to find that you feel a lot lighter with regard to yourself as well as the relationship becomes lighter and it changes its energy and you're not going to be fighting with this person and you're not going to be uncomfortable around this person you simply need to speak your mind and of course you may receive some kind of resistance um, with that but you need to stand your ground with it and I think that's been a theme that we've been developing for almost a year now and over the year, over the year, I don't know how many times I have said maintain your boundaries and stand your ground in this um, in these videos, and it's because we've been working with that, and now it's almost like, wow, this energy has come to a fruition, and it's like your final test. And are you going to? How are you going to do in this test? Are you going to be? Are you going to succeed and reclaim your energy, or are you going to allow yourself to be to submit? to the will of another during this time. So think about that and think about what you actually desire for yourself and what you're willing to to put up with and what you're willing to 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 say, you know, I'm not going to do this anymore. You can't do that or just basically putting some firm boundaries in place and um stating very clearly what it is that you desire and what it is that you do not desire, what it is that uh, repels you in a particular situation. Now for those of you who have had health issues in the last year or year and a half, this is a time where you really need to be careful because for as this energy comes in with this huge wave of productivity or this wave of um, momentum, you're going to find that uh, it may impact your health negatively. So please be careful or please be aware of that. For some of you, it may just be colds or flus or that kind of thing. And I'm not talking about coronavirus here. I'm talking uh, just generally. But um, so don't be afraid if you're watching this and you're thinking, oh my God, is she talking about that? No, I'm not talking about that. So if, yeah, just take a bit, a little bit more care. And because you're aware of this and because you've been warned now, you can actually just pace yourself because what may be the tendency is that um, this energy comes in and you feel so energized and you can you can do so much and things are working out really well and you just want to um, profit from this. You want to maximize this and then you burn out after a week and a half or two weeks and you find that you are you have recurrent health problems or chronic issues are coming to bear themselves again and then you end up spending the next like two months or so thereafter uh, just recovering and you're not really going to be able to to make use of that energy because that energy spills over into April as well a little bit and then it reactivates itself around May uh, or the end of April and then it ta tapers off around the beginning of June or so. So um, that's a little bit of a heads up as to the energy as you uh, can experience it. And um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section and I'll try and answer you. Um, because I know I've spoken mostly, well, a little bit about love and mostly about work, etc. But I haven't really talked about this spiritual development and... Um, and many other things. So if you have questions about that, you can just um, leave it below. Just in terms of one's development, I feel like most of you would have made a lot of headway in terms of um, your spiritual development or where it is that you need to be with yourself. And this boundaries test is like the the kind of, as I mentioned, the culmination of, of that as well. And when you, when you walk through this year, now beginning in March you will feel like a different person you will feel like an older version of yourself or you'll feel not in a bad way but in a more like having more wisdom having more experience and just having um, successfully concluded a chapter of your life and this is something that and, and beginning a new chapter of your life so in terms of your spiritual well-being this is something that you'll feel and it will it will be um, it'll grace you and you will feel like you are gracefully moving on and that you are moving ahead with kind of ease 
it's almost like you're walking on clouds. And so I think that uh, from a spiritual point of view, from a self-development point of view, from a soul uh, perspective, you're going to be feeling fairly well during this time. And it's going to be a time which is really there for you, where you feel like you're being supported and you and the universe has your back, etc. And you, you, you know, like everyone is there for you and things are just falling into place. And you may be getting signs of this um, in terms of, you know, however you receive your signs. Some of you may receive your signs um, by seeing some of the numbers or, um, or four numbers in a row or something like this. And I think that, you know, that's just one example, but you, you, you may be receiving signs of this already for the last two to three weeks. And you may find that things are starting to smooth out and go really well. At least now from this new moon, you would have found that um, that a lot of the annoyances from the past would have is, is over. And you can actually just breathe again and just relax and enjoy and get ready to be productive once again. So... Um, so that's your energy forecast. I hope it's been helpful and um, do let me know how it goes uh, along for you in the next months. I wish you all the best and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.